Hello everyone, and this is Reggie with AE Team Appliance. Before we get into the video, I just want to do a quick overview. Um, this was a repair that I was on, and I could not figure out how to get this thing off. This is my first time working on this dryer. Uh, it's a brand new GE dryer. I even looked on YouTube to see if I could find something. I couldn't find anything, so I figured it out. So I'm kind of thumbing through it a little bit in the video, um, but it's just three screws that comes off, and just watch the video. Um, if you have an issue getting this dryer uh, panel off, uh, watch the video and I'll show you how to do it. And again, excuse me, thumbing through some of it because I was kind of figuring it out as I went along. Uh, and eventually I won the battle. Thanks and I'll see you in the next one. Turn this bad boy out. There you go, slides over. All right. So basically, this panel slides over. And that's a diagnosis. All right, so this GE model GE, some of them you take a knob off, and there's a screw right there. That's not the case with this one. I took the knob off, no screw. And actually, the screws. are here and here to take this off so this is on a GE dryer newer GE dryer so this is how you get the panel off so a lot different than most GE's here they pretty much hit all the screws it makes it look give it a cleaner look I guess and boom, and that's how you get this off. Took me a while to find that little trick. So we want to unplug and disconnect. So you want to damage any wires and the thing falls or something. You want to damage any connections. Just don't look like it wants to come out of there. So. I'm just going to push in the tabs. Something a little tricky. All right, that seemed to be the hardest part here. Trying to figure that out. <laughs> New machines.
and newer place to put things. Slides forward, comes right off.